All right, we're gluing up the canoe now. We are. And we're going to add it to the canoe, staple it up. This is just tight bond type 2 wood glue, good strong glue. And again, this will all be covered in the fiberglass, so not too worried about water getting in. But this is all going into that, that cove joint. And this cove will sit on top of the bead on top of this one. So just a good little bit of glue goes running through there. Got it there. Put a miter on this end. And we're going to fit it up on here and staple it in with just half inch staples. I'm going to give it a little bit of an overhang on the stem piece right here and then we'll come back with the Japanese pull saw and cut that up to, to fit there. It can get a little messy. Um, have a sock line around somewhere with water on it. Just have a bucket of water and go to town. So here is we're fitting it on. I'll use these clamps to kind of hold it in place because this is about a 10 foot piece of board here. And I want it to fit down here on the on the form so that I can get a good fit there. And I'll take my staples and Go from there. The gun's not working. Okay, switch the guns. There we go. This just caught up on me. And now we just make sure we get it set into that cove nice and tight. That cove and bead match up, marry up. And then we're just going to walk ourselves down putting a half inch staple into each form and this should go pretty nicely. Check the inside. I'll get a little bit of glue run out here but again we'll go back and cover that up. Sometimes I put a staple connecting the two and then one into the form. Sometimes it wants to pull off a little bit. Gotta hug it on there a little bit. They say use as many staples as necessary, but no more. And you kind of do want to see that glue run out a little bit, because that means it's got a good tight joint there. That's a little loose there, so I'm going to put one halfway between there. That's a good tight.